What's up, Aries, Kings, Queens, and everything in between? I am Austria of Unbothered Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury in regards to love for a versus reading for the 30th through the 5th. And you will be on the left, and your person will be on the right. You know what? I'm going to switch that up. So, switch it. Your person will be on the left and you'll be on the right all right and right now i'm getting past present and future um energy for you and your person here and this is mutual energy here all right so we have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership here and this could have been in well this is in your past um energy here and this could have been you or your person's energy you could have been feeling like you were giving your relationship a chance in the past with someone here okay currently you could be possibly separated from this person separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon or it is coming up in the near present energy here you or your person could be thinking about separating um in the future we have it is safe for you to love in the reverse here and we have open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all um this is like i'm getting a sense that you or your person could be dealing with a karmic and feeling that it isn't safe for you to love this person. Um, or you could be feeling that it isn't safe for you to love the person that you're involved with. Meaning the person that you could possibly be separated from in the near future here. Well, in the near present, I guess. Then we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. And this is the underlying message here. So... You're definitely possibly dealing with twin flame energy here, so definitely keep that in mind. I also just saw Hot Nicole as I split the deck, so this could be someone that you've gone back and forth with over time. Um, here, all right, um, I'm not gonna flip it over, but it did crease, so I like to go ahead and pull it out. We have nothing solid here, but it did go back in the deck. It says, I can't offer you anything solid right now, please be patient, all right. I'm also getting that for some of you, that's the reason. Oh, yeah, in control right here. That could be the reason why this person um, is wanting to separate from you or vice versa. You could not be offering this person anything solid or the other way around. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some more mutual energy here for the reason. All right. So it looks like right now you could feel like this person is rushing into you or vice versa. I can't wait any longer. I'm making a move since this is mutual, mutual energy here. Main woman here. This is the challenge. So you or your person um, could be dating someone else. Or um, this, you or your person could be non-committal with main woman here. It says, nobody else has my attention. You're the one that I want. And that could be main male as well. We have sex here. And it's, I'm not saying that sex is all I want. But I want your touch. And this is what you don't see coming in the near future. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I'm um, also getting the sense that someone here could have been a bit naive about how they um, started this relationship or how they ran into this situation or love or whatever with this person. Like someone was on some night of um, swords energy. Um, could be dealing with a... Uh, with a Capricorn or an Aquarius here. All right. All right. So, all right. So we have balance here. It says finding balance between giving and receiving here. 
And that's what you guys were missing out on or your person was when they decided to rush into this union. It's like understanding how much to give and also not rushing in without all the facts here. Youthful here. Let's keep our inner child our inner child ages and maintain youthful forever. So this could be someone that you dealt with um, um, since you were a child or someone that um, you have kids with for some of you. Doubling in the sense of someone that you be, can be youthful with though. Um, someone that brings out the child in you, but not like childish. But you could sometimes feel like this person is childish maybe. Or maybe your person feels that way about you. All right, we have perfect match here. So it says we are a perfect match. Reason why our fire burns so hot. So um, it's possibly a lot of chemistry within your sexual relationship that you have with this person. And they feel that, or you feel that that's because you guys are supposed to be together here. We have obsession here. I'm obsessed with you and our memories is almost killing me. So someone is definitely running around the other's mind rent free here. And it's definitely an internal um, conflict here. Um, something could have possibly ended with you and this person in separation. If you guys are in separation, definitely be sure to look at your separation no contact reading. But something could have ended here. And this person is constantly thinking about it and they do feel some sort of way. It says, my world is chaotic right now. Can't seem to think straight. So they can't seem to think straight, but they're having constant thoughts of you. All right, so I set your person is going to go first. So let's go ahead and see their intent here. All right. All right, so we have the Sun card in the reverse. Leo energy here with the King of Pentacles here. Um, it looks like your person could, I don't want to say unhappy, you know, because it's a little bit deeper than that, but it's definitely a sense of like, this person doesn't really know how to bring you a level of stability here that you're looking for. They're kind of confused on what you want in regards to your romantic, you know, y'all romantic life here. Because it looks like they want to come back in union with you if you if you are separated or start something up new with you with this Three of Cups and the King of Pentacles. They want it to be solid here. But they don't know how to bring this into union. So they could possibly be the one rushing in and trying to figure out a way to balance it. With the Knight of Wands here, it looks like it's someone going to be coming, um, going to be coming around to offer you something. Someone else is going to be coming around to offer you something as well. Knight of Wands is, um, I'm sorry, the King of Wands is Scorpio's energy as well as Sagittarius's, and the King of Pentacles is Virgo as well as Leo's energy. With the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, this person could have felt like you let them, let, let them out in the cold here. King of Cups in the reverse. That is Aquarius energy. I know I said that shit. That is Aquarius's energy, as well as, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Aquarius energy as well as Pisces energy here. Definitely a sense of this person possibly feeling like, you know, they need to, um, they were abandoned by you here in the past. Um, they could have felt like you abandoned the connection here and definitely felt like you were a little bit self-serving in how you acted. They could have also felt like this, this situation was a bit toxic here. But this person definitely does have a lot of love for you with the King of, I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups here. All 
All right, let's see your step. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and some Mercury. All right, yeah, it looks like you were the one that possibly ended something here, Aries, with the um, death card here. Yeah, it looks like you were real cold about it, too. Um, the two of swords here, it's like you had some type of clarity here, or you wanted to get some type of balance, maybe some type of give and take. You felt like you needed to put up some boundaries here with this person, with this two of swords here. You could be dealing with, again, an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Libra energy here with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, as well as um, Virgo's energy here. You possibly really were quite icy to this person as you cut them off. Scorpio energy with the death card here. Definitely wanted to end things because you felt, you know, um, felt like you wanted things to change and things maybe weren't changing at the pace that you would have liked um, with that rushing in energy there. So you ended shit. And this is definitely someone that you feel like you, yep, yeah, what? Page of Swords here. Definitely someone that you had um, known before. Like this is someone that you have like a lot of memories with. Um, like knowing this person from childhood but this is also someone that you feel like is your soulmate with the six of um, cups here with the nine of pentacles here in the reverse this is definitely that energy of you possibly self-sabotaging this relationship here because it's like you don't like what you see or, or you, you're basically rushing in to the relationship without really focusing on the heart of certain issues here. And by you doing that, you are just making decisions kind of from an emotional standpoint instead of a logical one. Alright, let's see the action. Action, Aries personal take, Aries, Sun, and Venus, and Mercury's person. Action for the take towards Aries. All right, we have the Six of Swords here with the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Wands. Okay. With the Four of Pentacles in the reverse and the Lover's card, Gemini energy here. It looks like this person is going to open up to you um, about how they feel about you. Um, they could possibly be a bit defensive about certain things that they... Um, decided to do here but it looks like they're willing to be a little bit more open to about how they look at you in regards to this partnership which is possibly something that you've been waiting for with this um, ace of swords here giving you some sort of clarity six of swords here this person is definitely wanting to progress here wanting to heal wanting to move forward here um, out of a, a place where they felt like they possibly missed an opportunity here or something failed here or being even in the space of being um, kind of shallow here this person is definitely reevaluating um, what you mean to them or the opportunity of you here and they're deciding that they want to move forward with you here with the eight of um, eight of wands they want a new opportunity here with you let's see what your actions are towards your person here.
and the six of wands in the reverse here. Some of you guys are holding on to a certain level of insecurity or disappointment that this person could have possibly um, stirred up in you or triggered in you. You have to let that go in order to move forward here. With the two of pentacles here, it's definitely a sense of you guys figuring out exactly what you want, um, thinking of things in a practical manner and taking things on day at a time as you should. But it's definitely a sense of you you're wanting you're wanting to have emotional um, stability with this person and you're wanting to have a fresh start with this person. You feel like you're wanting to balance things out and um, have spiritual justice with this person and have emotional fulfillment here. Um, the justice card is Libra's energy. Let's see what challenges you guys face during this time frame all right all right okay mm, okay so with the yeah the page of swords in the reverse here and this is all about self-centeredness here also about someone being petty um vindictive doing dealing in mind games you could be dealing with a gemini here or another aries with the magician card um definitely getting a lot of air here but it seems like this person you know they are in a place of transforming themselves and also exhibiting a lot of willpower here um to kind of hold back from you if they feel some like so trying to hold back their 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 mean streak here is what I'm really getting. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse here. They're trying to not be like this to you because they they feel they feel hurt by something that when you cut them off here. Two of Wands in the reverse here. This person really has no ambition here to move towards you. They definitely feel disconnected from this relationship here. But it doesn't matter because <laughs> it looks like it's going to be um, it's going to be brought back together. Some sort of resurrection is going to happen with the judgment card. And with the hermit card here, there's definitely a sense of some sort of um, you just needing a sense of patience for it to happen. Some of you guys are possibly in like a situationship, um, even a third party situation. And could you see how this person is like over here, like kind of patiently waiting? And then, yeah, it's kind of weird, but yeah. So it's definitely like, you know, <laughs> I don't wanna say waiting your turn, but waiting for the right moment here for you and this person to come together here. And it's because everything is happening in divine timing. And you have to be, <coughs> excuse me, guys. You have to be understanding of that. What's the challenge for Aries? All right. The two of wands in the reverse again here with the five of pentacles here so this is definitely a sense of not really knowing how to rebuild this um rebuild this connection that you have with this person before here that's the challenge that you're facing the ace of pentacles in the reverse this is also about um you know, again, reevaluating the connection and what you want to do moving forward. Definitely a sense of some sort of blocked energy as well as instability here. Right now, you just need to kind of focus on being at peace with yourself, maybe taking, you know, a mental time out here um, to do a little bit of introspection, to definitely meditate and see what you really want in this union and then go after it at that point because it looks like you could be a little bit unsure or at the, at the very least giving off some mixed signals here which could be why this person doesn't feel like it is safe for them to love here in the future all right so let's get some signs for those of you that need a little bit more clarification of what's going on here i'm sorry not what's going on here um of who um 
if, if this your reading or not. I don't know why I'm tongue tied. That's definitely some of y'all energy. All right. So we have water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. We have Mercury, Virgo, Gemini energy here. We have Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here. And we have Air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. All right. So, you know, thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold. And um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.